Hello and welcome to Romanceful Tarot. I'm about to perform a weekly spread here. So the weekly spread I'm beginning with is for the sign of Aries. The spread is going to be from the 8th of June to the uh, 14th of June 2020. This is a general spread so it may not resonate with uh, everyone who is watching. If this does not sound like your story, please check your moon and rising signs. Perhaps your message could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Um, I also do um, some snapshot dailies, I do the monthlies, and I do a bunch of other uh, interesting subjects and spreads throughout the weeks. So um, the only way that I know that you enjoy my videos and that you want to support my videos and continue watching is if you subscribe, um, like and share. So please subscribe, like and share. And if you do have any questions that you would like on a personal booking, you can reach me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and you can find all that information on the bottom of the drop box of this um, YouTube video. So let's begin with no further ado, Aries, this is your weekly um, from the 8th to the 14th of June. So let's see what's going to be going on. I have here the before tarot, I put on a nice little spread and we're going to finish it off with a word of wisdom from our mermaids. So let's begin and see how the week is going to go um, in general. Let's see. Let's begin off here. We're going to turn off the Queen of Pentacles. We're going to just switch over the whole spread. Look at it a second. The world. We have the Emperor. We have the Chariot. The Queen of Wands. And we have the Six of Wands. All right. Okay. So Let's begin up over here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's reverse. We're going to remember it's reverse. Let's look at it like this. Okay. So our lovely Queen of Pentacles. She seems to have everything with her. She's got the eyes on the prize. She is looking at it. But eyes on the prize is held by nonetheless as the evil snake of Adam and Eve. She is being tempted. Um, she's a grounded, um, I could feel that you're, you know, you, you have the insides, you have the potential of a leader, um, not immune to temptation, and um, as the queen here, quite material wealth. So we like nice things. Um, as I said, we have this nice little serpent here who's coming, who's tempting her. Um, and this woman here is a, she's physical, she's sensual, she, um, she's got lots of opulence. She has really everything she needs. So, you know, I hope you have everything you need for this week. Um, what I have to say here for you in a whole for your week is um, you have to be careful with um Usually I would say you have to be creative and everything, but we do have to remember that this card here was in a reversal position. In a reverse position, we are talking here about evil, uh, suspicious, um, uh, suspense even, I fear as there would be maybe fear, um, maybe mistrust. Something is going on in your um, in your week, in your surroundings here. Somebody is trying to tempt you or somebody is trying to drive you elsewhere and to try and convince you of something um, because I feel as though um, there's a problem here of mistrust and suspicion. What I could say about this is, please, please just, you know, try and trust yourself. And, uh, you know, you can't spin straw into gold until you, you know, until you won't uh, have to sell the soul and you don't have to sell your soul in the process. Let's say it that way. So, um, so be very careful, Aries, for a general. This is your general card for the week. There's going to be temptation, there's mistrust, there's suspicion around you. Something is going on. We're going to follow this up with the world. The world is upside down. Our beautiful world upside down is something unexpected that's going to arise. So usually now, um, you know, the world, it's closing around and it's, it's everything is good and symbiosis. Um, I see a closing of a chapter here. I see it to begin another one in your life. Um, 
there's um, there's something that is going to die and uh, there's going to and it's going to bring yourself a, a rebirth something new is going to happen um, but in order for this to happen um, for this rebirth you're going to have to have a certain delays there's going to be some hesitations there's going to be some false starts in this new beginning um, and while some see some boundaries and limitations, uh, let's just remind us that they do not confine us, they define us, and you make your own boundaries. So you make your own boundaries, you make them clear, you make your plan, be careful for the people that are around you that are trying to be um, dishonest with you, that are trying to tempt you with um, with evil things, they're trying to tell you stories that are false. You need to be very careful, and this is going to be a... Um, new beginning that is going to come but you're going to have to have a little bit of patience and um, and a little bit of clarity over here okay we're gonna follow this over here with the Emperor well the Emperor he's very strong he has everything he needs um, you know he can do whatever he wants you have everything you need just everything you need just like the Emperor to protect your family to protect your home to protect um, your loved ones you have everything in your possible power emotionally physically spiritually um, you have the power you have the order you have the stability you have the leadership you have logic confidence ambition what you must be careful about is again this suspicion here okay suspicion new beginning you have everything you need to complete it you must complete this you must move on forward is what it's telling us we have to close this chapter following over we have the chariot who's telling us hey let's move okay let's get this moving let's get this chariot going uh, we're moving that's it we've had enough of this um, our chariot being up we're telling ourselves there's gonna be a journey I see there's movement there's there's guests with you there's there's a moving um, a moving force a moving speed you're going to have uh, people with you there's gonna be a little bit of a of a little battle here okay so there's gonna be a battle here because of our queen and we have suspicion and we have a little bit of evil over here so there's going to be a little battle there's going to be a little bit of fighting and um, you're just going to move on you're going to take your chair you're going to take your car and you're just going to go you're going to move you're moving to better places you're going to have victory you're going to have control and you're going to have your independence um, and once you do obtain this and you do do this you do this move um, towards your independence moving over getting over this mistrust that is surrounding you you will feel so much better and you're going to be on a great path to continue on following up here we have our beautiful queen of wands which is just what i was telling you absolutely lovely you're going to move and you're going to have victory and when you have your victory you will have absolutely everything you want you'll have all your power you have your new beginnings you have your sprouts you have your force you have your strength you have your inner strength um the queen of wands you have you know but you're going to be quiet um, but intense but you're just you're just a fantastic person everybody wants to be your friends uh, people want to be your lover um you're the center of attraction now you're outgoing you're the life of the party so I mean you know all good following up here we have you're coming back to victory okay so you're back from victory over here and um, this is about recognition this is about uh, coming back from a battle that you fought up here uh, this is all about respect people respect you they have admiration for you they have gratitude um, they have validations and let me just say there is going to be a message that is going to be coming to you very important I feel you have a message that will be arriving near the end of the week um, a message that is going to help you to make choices also to uh, continue your path so a message will be arriving um, near the end of the week Following up here, we have our big blue well. I'm sorry, I was at the wrong spot. So big blue well is your um, oracle card for the week. And this is all about using your power gently. You know, the big blue well is one of the biggest and largest creators known to man. He's got just the physical power that's just absolutely amazing, which, 
of course you have also you know you've got all this physical power here um as you discover your own sources as you move forward on your chariot in your own world you're going to see that you have strength um, you have a personal power do not forget to maintain though your loving disposition your strength to protect your family yourself who you are who you want to be the only uh, weak ones here are the cruel ones it's the ones that are around you it's the ones that are suspicious it's the ones who are doing you wrong um, so stay strong just like our blue well so that will um, finish up our spread for Aries for the week of June from the 8th to the 14th of June 2020. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight on um, what to do, the strengths, the powers. Something's coming to you. You need to make some changes. You can do it. You're strong. I believe in you. Cards believe in you. So that being said, I really hope you did enjoy uh, this reading. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. It will show me your support. And then I can continue doing some more lovely readings like this for you. And if you would like to have some more information on some private bookings, romancefultarot at gmail.com. I am wishing you a fantastic week. Uh, many, many, many blessings. And uh, we will be seeing each other for um, another uh, snapshot and uh, for your weekly of the following week. So have a great week.